You look hungry, Jesus. If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Just think of it, all this I will give you, if you will bow down and worship me. Away from me, Satan. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve him only. This chapter and verse shows us that when Jesus is tempted and feels he is in a difficult situation, he looks to God's word for guidance. As a result of the temptations, Jesus was stronger and more prepared for his ministry, because he had rejected three false ways of doing his task, providing only for people's material needs. Let's be like Jesus, how he lived by God's word and not the devil eyes. God bless each one of you, I hope you enjoy the animation. Let's go and spread the word of Jesus and be more like him and not like the world. Because God called us to spread his word and God doesn't want us being like the devil or the world. Modesty or modern. Like how nowadays, a lot of days in the churches, we're not being spiritual. We're not being like in the ancient path, in the ancient road. And it's very dangerous because God wants us to be like him and not like the world. And it says to worship him in spirit and truth. And it's very dangerous because in these last days, there's a lot of people who don't know that God wants us to be more like him and not like the world. But smile because Jesus loves you. The time is now to go spread his word. Please share this video with anyone who is dealing with temptations. Because guess what? With the hand of God, we can overcome all temptations over all darkness, over all fears. With the hand of God and the strength of God. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things with the strength of Christ. And then John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only beloved son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I hope this video helped you. I know the Lord Jesus spoke to each one of you. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.